They don't even slap box in Joel Austin congregation. That's right. T.D. Jakes in Creflo Dollar, them folks that go to Fred Price, Fred Price. There's no slap box. Everybody gets to get rubbed down. Rubbed down. Be a little nice. <laughs> a little nice Christian. That's right. No. That's right. Hey man, Williams came out of the, that kind of church. Kind of church. That's right. Is that right? That's right. It wasn't. It's not. Listen. If it's not even slap boxing, not even slap, meaning you're not really getting hit. No. If I smack you, you'll feel it. Yes. But if I bring these five digits together, yeah, you really will feel it. That's right. It will have a different impact. That's right. And believe me, I'm going to get a much stronger response out of you. Oh, yes. Listen at this. Cry aloud. Cry aloud. Spare not. Spare not. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. Nobody <laughs> is to be spared. Nobody. From God's word. That's right. Nobody. Nobody. If God had respect the person, mm -hmm. then people would be spared. Oh, yes. But nobody gets spared. Nobody. From nothing, nothing God says. That's right. It isn't that the word of God come to you and don't come to me. God don't spare me. No. God don't spare Williams. No, we don't. God don't spare the ministers. No. God come get everybody. Everybody. And then he lay law that all of us got to follow. You know, when I think of it, it's, it's something. I believe the parable about the penny. Yes. I often think of that. <laughs> and then I think of Williams and I. That's right. You know, there are some areas overseas that he may not make it. But That's right. I have to go anyway. You have to be there, Pastor. <laughs> Sometime I go to Africa. William's not there. I may go to India. William's may not be there. I go to Scotland or Ireland or Italy. William's not there. That's right. Uh, many foreign countries, William's are not there. And then there's some places he is. Right. I have to counsel people by the thousand, advise people by the uh, thousands, yeah. and I have thousands of emails, people asking me questions. I got to read and look at and pray for people and do <laughs> all of this. All of that. He ain't got to do none of it. That's right. But God made an interesting parable about a penny. In Matthew chapter 25 and verse 14. I want everybody to hear this because I have to, I, I have to ask God to help me with this scripture. That's right. Because here's all this work. That he sent us to do. And yet if I make the first resurrection and Williams make it, we get the same reward. Same reward. If he don't travel nowhere <laughs> and don't pray for nobody and nobody write him to answer no questions and nothing. He just live and please God, do his job, live right. right. We get the same reward. Same reward. That's true. That's very you know, true, my God. flesh feel like it's unfair. It's very true. But uh, I have to get my personal views out of it. That's right. Listen at this. We'll start in St. Matthew chapter 20, rather, and at verse 1. You see, he's reading it with spunk, <laughs> with such joy. That's joy. Listen. Matthew chapter 20, and we're at verse 1. Yes. For the kingdom of heaven is like unto a man that is an householder. All right. Which went out early in the morning to hire laborers into his vineyard. Yeah. And when he had agreed with the laborers for a penny a day. Think of it. He agreed with the laborers for a penny a day. A penny a day. He said that. Notice the Bible says it's comparing this to the kingdom of heaven. For the kingdom of heaven is like is like unto a man that is in household. Now he go on to make a parable. What is like? What is like? Mm -hmm. Which went out early in the morning to hire laborers into his vineyard. Yes. And when he had agreed with the laborers for a penny a day. He sent them into his vineyard. Yes. And he went out about the third hour and saw others standing idle in the marketplace. Agreed. Agreed. To a penny a day. Agreed. In other words, that's your reward. That's it. If you want to be saved and be right with God, mm -hmm. then you agree. Agree. To work for him. For a penny a day. A penny a day. That's right. In other words, whatever God choose to give you. Mm. You have to take it right. if you're wise. That's right. And you would agree to it if you're wise. That's right. Listen. And when he had agreed with the laborers for a penny a day. Yes. He sent them into his vineyard. Mm -hmm. And he went out about the third hour 
And so others standing idle in the marketplace. Now here some others standing, standing idle. idle in the marketplace. And he said unto them, Go ye also into the vineyard. Go on in the vineyard. And whatsoever is God right. God don't want us standing around doing nothing. Doing nothing. He want us to work for him. That's right. Every skill you have. That's right. Whatever talent you have. That's right. Whatever way you can be a help to the work of God. That's right. You should do it. Do it. And do it willingly. Oh, yes. Not by force. Not by constraint. Because think of it. If you did not have that skill or talent. Hmm. So I want to say, well, God didn't give me that skill. I went to school for it. Man, how do you think you're able to obtain knowledge right. if God didn't fix your mind to hold the information? That's right. I don't care how long you went to school. That's right. If the most high God, creator of heaven and earth, don't give your mind to contain information, yeah. why, you'll be like a vegetable. That's right. Wouldn't have no understanding of nothing. No understanding. Listen at this. And he went out about the third hour and saw others standing idle in the marketplace. Yes. And said unto them, Go ye also into the vineyard. Go in the vineyard. And whatsoever is right. Whatsoever is right. I will give you. I give you. And they went their way. Mm -hmm. Again he went out about the sixth and ninth hour and did likewise. Yes. And about the eleventh hour he went out. Mm -hmm. And found others standing idle and said unto them. You always got people idling around. Idling around. And sometimes them the kind that complain about what others are doing. That's right. Why don't you buckle down and do something? That's right. Put your hand to work and work for God and work well. Work well. Listen good. And about the eleventh hour he went out. Yeah. And found others standing idle and saith unto them, Why stand ye here all the day idle? How long? All the day. All day doing nothing. They say unto him, Because no man hath hired us. And? He saith unto them, Go ye also into the vineyard. Look at him. You get going. And whatsoever is right. Whatever is right. That shall you stop. You start doing it. So when even was come, mm -hmm. the Lord of the vineyard saith unto his steward. What is it? Call the laborers and give them their hire. <laughs> beginning them from the last unto the first. You hear this? That's right. Here come the Lord of the vineyard. That's right. And the Lord of the vineyard going to come for us. That's right. And uh, he going to examine what you're doing. What you're doing. What you have done. That's right. He gonna look it over. Oh, yeah. You know, that's why I, I'm determined to do this thing right. Oh, yes. God said in the scriptures through the apostle Paul. Every man's er, work. Hear, hear this. First Corinthians chapter 3 and verse 13. Every man's work. Shall be made manifest. Shall be made manifest. For the day shall for declare the it. the day shall declare because it. Because it shall be revealed by fire. It shall be made known by fire. And the fire shall change. Try. And the fire shall test it. Every man's Every work. Every man's work. Of what sort it is. What Every kind man. of work. Every man. Are you doing? That's right. What sort is it? What sort it is. Is it good? Yeah. Is it evil? That's right. Is it for God's glory? Or for self glorification? That's right. Is it to make a name for yourself? That's right. Or is it to promote the name of God? That's right. Is it for God's glory? Glory. Or are you doing this just to get attention for your glory? And the fire shall try every man's work. One thing I say, fire tests everything. Oh, yes. You can get a man or a woman. You get a man so stubborn, arrogant, hard-headed. Yeah, I never pray. I have this. Hmm. His voice can be heavier than mine. Yeah. He can be a barbell boy. That's right. But you let somebody throw gasoline on him in a match. Amen. His voice will hollow, will holler like a woman uh, with a soprano voice. That's right. They get that flames off of him. That's right. You let that woman who thinks she's the finest shapely thing living, hmm. but throw a match on her. Throw a match. You will see her up humble right away. Oh, yes. Just waddling on the ground trying to get those flames out. That's right. God have a way of creating circumstances. Yeah. And allow those circumstances to interrupt our life. That's right. That'll show you what you are. 
and what you are not. That's right. Listen at this. Back in St. Matthew 20 and at verse 8. Yes. So when even was come, the Lord of the vineyard saith unto a steward, uh -huh. call the laborers. Call the laborers. And give them their hire. Give them their hire. Beginning unto, beginning from the last unto the first. Yes. And when they came, they were hired about the eleventh hour. All right. They received every man a penny. They received every man a penny. A penny. Nobody got a different reward from the other. No. But Everybody get a penny. Every man a penny. All right. But when the first came. When the first came. They supposed that they should have received more. Huh. <laughs> Amen. When the first came. They supposed. The ones that been out there the longest. That's right. <laughs> laboring. 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 That's right. Laboring. Laboring. <laughs> you know, I, I've been pastoring for 40 years. My Lord, my Lord. And two more years, I've been preaching for 50 years. Mm. Wow. Just in two more years. My Lord. In two more years, be the Lord's will, I'll be 63. Mm. I'll be preaching for 50 years, oh, declaring Lord. God's word, William. My Lord, that's something. That make me sound old, don't Yes, it, it does. <laughs> you didn't beautiful have to thing. agree with it's it. It's a beautiful thing, Pastor. <laughs> 50 years preaching the same thing. Same thing. That's right. Not wavering. Same thing. Not shaky. That's right. But consistent. That's right. You know, a lot of men. That's true. They took a firm stand when they had a little small group. Mm -hmm. Or a church maybe about the size of this stage. Mm -hmm. Then if they got a reasonable amount of people. Right away, they start changing. Yeah. For the worse. Oh, yes. Not for the better. That's right. And then they take the Bible off the people. That's right. Give them so much sinful leverage. Yeah. Anything that'll bring more members, more money, more notoriety, more prosperity. What good is all of that, all of that yeah. if God is not pleased? That's right. The whole objective of serving God is that we may please him. Please him. That's right. If God is not pleased, pleasing others don't mean nothing. No. Until God is pleased. That's right. The first one that should be pleased is heaven and heaven only. That's right. Listen at this. And when they came that were hired about the 11th hour. Yes. They received every man a penny. Uh -huh. But when the first came. When they, the first came. They supposed that they should have received more. Oh, they felt as though they should have got something more. And the reward should have been bigger. And they better. likewise. Greater. That's right. That's right. And what? And they likewise received every man a penny. What? Amen. It doesn't matter to God that I would have been preaching almost 50 years. <laughs> and how long have you been reading for us, William? I've been reading well, he's been reading for me. Over 40 years. Over 40 years over because 40 years. I, and I trained him with the help of God how to read. That's right. Uh, for me. And then I, God moved on me. God moved on me. Yeah. And laid hands on him. Yeah. And uh, God anointed him. Yes. And I asked God, do to him what you've done to me. Hallelujah. Put in him the same mind Hallelujah. and the same scriptural sharpness. Hallelujah. That wherever you guide me to preach, yeah. guide him to read. That's right. And I can say of a truth, God answered my prayer. Hallelujah. Amen. God Hallelujah. put us together like Paul and Barnabas, like Paul and Timothy, like Hallelujah. Paul and Titus. Hallelujah. God put us together. Hallelujah. 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 And nobody can deny Hallelujah. the fact. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Hallelujah. Lord. Glory to Hallelujah. God. Hallelujah. Nobody Lord Jesus. can deny the fact Hallelujah. that God is in this. Hallelujah. You know, I want something God is in. That's right. Hallelujah. If God is not in it, Hallelujah. it's not worth having it. Oh, no. So it doesn't matter how long you've been out there laboring. That's right. If you labor right. That's right. And here's someone haven't been out there long as you. Yes. But do it right. That's it. You get the same reward. That's right. There is no greater reward. Hallelujah. Than eternal life with Christ himself. That's right. <laughs> Hallelujah.
What happened there? But when the first came, they supposed that they should have received more. Yes. And they likewise received every man a penny. Yes. And when they had received it, they murmured. They murmured. Against the good man of the house. Against the good man of the house. Saying, these last have wrought but one hour. Yes. And thou hast made them equal unto us. Listen. Amen. If someone repent of their sins, yeah. baptize in the water in the name of Jesus Christ, receive the Holy Ghost, and they have that new birth for one hour. One hour. Mm. And then the Lord come. <laughs> That's right. That's right. That's something. And they lived a holy life just for that one hour. One hour. One hour after receiving the Holy Ghost, the Lord appeared. That's right. God will accept them. My Lord. Just like he would accept the one that lived right for 50 years. That's right. That's right. Now. That's something. Don't be foolish now. Amen. And say, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> Let me be one of the one hour saints. <laughs> That's too risky. That's too risky. Glory to God. Oh, yes. Come on, son. And when they had received it, they murmured against the good man they of the house. They murmured against the good man of the house. Saying, these last have wrought but one hour. Yes. And thou hast made them equal unto us. What? Thou hast made them equal unto I us. I told you God don't have no respected person. No, no. God look at them equal. God ain't equal. looking at the apostles and say you are better than someone that's not an apostle when to be saved. That's right. that's right. Oh, no. That's right. Listen, the 12 names may be on the gates mm -hmm. that's right. and there's 12 foundations. foundations, but none of the apostles have a special seat. That's right. In the kingdom of God. That's right. Not one. Not one. Not one no. have a special seat with Jesus. No. Jesus taught us, unless you come uh, as these little children. Little children. You know, there was a, uh, a discussion that came up among the brethren. Uh, who's the greatest? Who's the greatest? In the kingdom. That's right. And that's the way folks are now. That's right. So somebody wrote uh, and commented and said, they, 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 I thank God for Pastor Jennings. He will have a special seat yes. in the kingdom. In the book well, of St. Well, Mark. Well, 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 you know something I don't. That's right. And, uh, you know something? I, listen, I just want to get into the kingdom. That's right. I'm not going to have a special seat. No. Hear me good. Saint Mark. Uh, hear this in the book of Mark. Saint Mark chapter 10 and we're at verse 35. Get it now. And James and John, the sons of Zebedee, come unto him. Yes. Saying, Master, we would that thou shouldest do for us whatsoever we shall desire. Yeah. Do you hear that? <laughs> whatsoever. Now let us understand it. Yes. Our desires and God desires may clash. That's true. You can desire something that God don't. That's right. You know how that is. That's right. But because some of us now have desires that God is saying no to. That's true. And those desires are in straight conflict with what God desires. That's right. Listen at this. We would that thou shouldest do for us whatsoever we shall desire. Yes. And he said unto them, what would ye that I should do for you? What you want me to do? They say unto him, grant unto us. Uh-oh. Grant, grant unto us. That we may sit. That we may sit. One on thy right hand. Huh. Amen. But the apostles thought big. <laughs> yes, they did. One on my right hand. And the other on thy left we hand. the other one to hang out on your left side. In thy glory. In your glory. But Jesus said unto Jesus them. Jesus said to them. You know not what you ask. <laughs> That's right. You hear that? You know not what you ask. You don't know what you're asking. Can you drink of the cup that I drink of? Uh oh. That's it. Now the boss is talking <laughs> heavy here. <laughs> That's right. He's challenging everybody. Everybody. Yeah. Before you go out asking the Lord for something. Yes. Make sure you know what you're talking about. That's right. Now, he said, Can you drink of the cup I drank of? I Hold drink it. Of. Hold it down. Oh, yes. He ain't talking about just drinking some water. No. 
He's talking about can you endure? Endure. That's it. What I endure. That's right. Can you digest? That's right. What I'm digesting. That's right. Can you go through? Go through. What I'm going through. That's right. We sing that song to be like Jesus. Be like Jesus. To be like Jesus. Oh, how I long. <laughs> to be like Jesus. <laughs> oh, you do? Amen. You do? You do. So meek and lowly. That's right. They, they, they sing that part. So humble and holy. Holy. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Meek and lowly. Mm -hmm. That's true. That's true. Humble and holy. That's true. That's true. But acquainted with grief. That's right. And the word of God said, he's long suffering, long -suffering to, to us. us what? Not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. That's right. So look at Jesus' question here. Can you drink of the cup that I drink of? Can you? Can you? Mm. You're jumping and shouting and testifying and speaking in tongue and eyes rolling all back and can't <laughs> see your pupils and <laughs> the white of your eyes and sliding around in the chair. God help your bouncing heart. That's right. But can you drink of the cup of the cup that I drink of? Can you endure what Jesus endured? That's right. Can you? They spit on him. Yes, they did. What would you do if you were spit on? And I'm talking about baby slobber either. No, no. <laughs> spit right in your face. Right in your face. Mm. Or while you're trying to get someone told, they just spit from within. My Lord, my Lord. And they come out and just go straight in your mouth with your mouth open. <laughs> Look at that noise. <laughs> Look at you. Make you choke. <laughs> That's right. Jesus said. Can you drink of the cup that I drink of? You know, walking with Jesus is paying a price. Yes, it is. You got a, pi a price to pay. That's right. Nobody served him and got it easy. No. Anybody say, I'm not going through nothing. You ain't walking with him. No. Jesus said what? Can you drink of the Can cup? Can you drink? Of the cup? Of the cup? That I drink of? That I drink of. And be baptized with the baptism. Can you be baptized with the baptism? That I am baptized with? He like his suffering to drinking hmm. and he like his suffering to baptizing. Baptizing. Suffering is something you digest. Oh yes. And baptizing that kind of suffering, you know, you ever feel like your whole being, That's the everything about you, is just being submerged in things. That's right. One thing after the other. Yeah. And sometimes it's like you're not coming up quick enough. Oh, yes. You start drowning. Oh, yeah. So can you be baptized? With the baptism that I am baptized with? Can you? Can you? Hmm. That's something. Can you endure what he endure? My they Lord. beat him on the back with a smoking flax. That's right. Put a crown of thorns on his head. That's right. They had planted a crown of thorns. L listen at this. In the book of St. Matthew. And some of us can't even tolerate if somebody look at you wrong. That's true. Shake your hand wrong or roll their little beady eyes at you. That's right. And you complaining and sad. And, sad. Uh, I don't want to come to church if he's there. I don't want to come to church if she's there, you little. Yeah, that's a little childish kindergarten mind. That's right. You can't drink of the cup no. that he drank of. No way. You're too busy drinking punch. <laughs> That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. You want them cool head sinks. That's right. Huh? That's right. When you drink of the cup ahead, he man. drank Go of, ahead. you got to be prepared, mind, soul, body, and spirit That's to right. endure what he endured. That's right. Not just talking, but actually endure it. Amen. Listen. St. Matthew 27, I'm at verse 27. Got to be prepared, be rejected by your own people. That's true. He said, I came to my own and my own own receive me not that's right gotta be prepared to be persecuted oh yes by your own people oh yes amen it was his kinfolk thank god the jews that put him to death that's right the bible said they killed the prince of life that's right word of god say a man foes shall be those of oh, his that's own right. household that's right huh? matthew 27 and verse 27 what is it then the soldiers of the governor took jesus into then the soldiers of the governor of the governor took jesus into took the common Jesus hall. into the common hall and gathered unto him the whole band of soldiers. Look at here. Mm. A whole band of soldiers. Okay. Listen, if somebody want to gather you up mm. and place you in jail yeah. on a firing squad 
in behalf of serving the Lord Jesus. Are you willing? Are you willing? It's easy to say yes if you are, you ain't never been there. That's right. Are you willing? That's right. Hmm. If the police is ready hmm. to beat you to death with a nightstick and dare you to call on that name. My Lord, my Lord. Are you willing? Are you willing? That's right. Think of it. That's right. You see, those questions, you, it, it makes it difficult to speak in tongue, doesn't it? Oh, yes. I don't even see nobody waving their hands saying hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> They're looking at me like, for real? <laughs> <laughs> Glory to God. I want you to think now. Think. Serving God is not like this Boy Scout stuff. No. no. This junk that's taught in these mega churches, they make it seem like serving God is like the happiest that's event right. of all day, okay. every day. Every and day. serving God every day is not like that. No. No way. God will give you a real wake up call. Yes, he will. Serving God, it is written in your heartness. That's right. As a good soldier. A good soldier. And anybody here or watching around the world who ever been in the military, no boot camp don't make you happy. Oh no. You in boot camp? Ain't nobody in boot camp with ballet shoes. No. Nobody in boot camp with a costume. That's right. Putting on a play. That's right. Boot camp mean that. Mean that. They don't care if you're a woman. When they have that rope up there that's look like a ladder, climb it. Oh yes. You can you can act all feminine. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. That sergeant ain't looking at your femininity. No, no. Get your legs over that rope, private. <laughs> that's right. That's right. When he asks those women a question. They've got to respond, sir, yes, sir. If he tell you, I can't hear you. That's right. <laughs> sir, yes, sir. You got to get it from the gut. From the gut. The sergeant don't care if you're a female. No. He'll talk about your mama and daddy like anybody else. Oh, yes. He'll tell you, you should have went to ballet school they come in here. That's right. You should have took ballet classes. Amen. What's wrong with you, private? What's wrong Get with you? Get yourself over with that rope. That's, right. That's the best thing you can do. Lay on your gut. Give me 50 push-ups. That's right. Oh, private, what's wrong with you? You want your mommy? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> do you understand? That's right. <laughs> Am I right, I said? That's what they're going to do. Oh, yes. Yeah. They do that to condition your mind. Yeah. And they work you out to condition your body. That's right. Your mind must be scripturally conditioned. Oh, yes. This is why the book teaches us, let this mind be in you that's also in Christ Jesus. Oh, yes. The Bible also conditions the body. Body. For the members of the body must be brought under subjection that it may be governed by the rule of law that God laid. That's right. Listen at this. Then the soldiers of the governor took Jesus into the common hall. Yes. And gathered unto him the whole band of soldiers. Uh -huh. And they stripped him. Look at here. Mm. They stripped him. And put on him a scarlet robe. Put on him a scarlet robe. And when they had planted a crown of thorns. See, they was doing all this to make mockery of him. That's right. Teasing them. Teasing them. Can you tolerate being teased? Mm. Being mocked on your job? Yeah. You right. got on them long jets. What are you, one of them holy rollers now? That's right. <laughs> tolerate being teased and mocked from your friends, brother, okay. that you used to drink with, smoke with, hang out with, party with. That's right. Hey, what's wrong now? You a church boy? That's right. You a church boy now? Yeah. See, so this is what God wants. God wants his people. Yeah. To be as bold for him. Yes. More than you was for the devil. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. God wants his people not to be ashamed not of to him. Be ashamed. You don't want him to be ashamed of you. That's right. So don't you be ashamed of him. That's right. Are you listening? And when they had planted a, cr a crown of thorns. When they planted. Planted a crown of thorns. They put it upon his head. Marking his kingship. And a reed in his right hand. Marking, you know, a king have a staff. Right. So they put a reed in his hand. And they bowed the knee before him. Then they bowed the knee before him. And mocked him. Mm. <laughs> they done what? And mocked him. That's Think something. of it. That's something. This is the cup. Yes. 
that he drank. That's right. This is the baptism That's that he was baptized with. That's right. Endurance is part of the development of oh. God's people. Oh, yes. And the problem with many of us, we don't want to endure. Nobody wants to endure. No. But endurance makes you stronger. Oh, yes. It uh, tests your stamina. Tests your stamina. See whether you really mean business about walking with God or give up and backslide. That's right. Look how loyal you are to Satan. Yes. Yeah. Satan says, sell drugs. You sell it. <laughs> so right. Satan says, snork some crack. Snork it. Yeah. Satan say, get high. You get high. Oh, yes. And tell your own friend, you don't even know where you're laying down sleeping. That's true. You see a little crack in the sidewalk, you think it's a Grand Canyon. Amen. You out there trying to walk over it. <laughs> Look how foolish you are. Yeah. Women drunk, cussing. Cussing. Don't know who house they're in, who arms they're in. That's true. Or who house they worked up in. That's right. Now, if you are loyal and was loyal, serving sin. Serving sin. Why are you so ashamed yes. when it comes to God? That's right. That's right. If you can wear fake hair, hmm. makeup like Jezebel, yeah. everything pierced like Jezebel. That's right. Mini skirts showing your shape, deep cut showing your cleavage. Yeah. And now God strip you and make you better than you was. Yeah. Why are you ashamed? Why are you ashamed? Because your friends found out your hair is not really that long. That's right. Why are you ashamed? That's right. Because your nose not pierced, your lips not pierced, your ears not pierced, you got rid of your bracelets. Yes. Why are you ashamed to stop manicuring your nails, mister? That's right. Why are you ashamed That's right. to come out of your tight pants? That's right. That's right. We become ashamed Shame. to even testify that we're serving God. We don't want our friends to know, family members to know, so therefore we address one way to work. Yeah. And dress another way to church. That's right. Amen. That's right. Either you're for God, for God. or you're not. Oh, yes. <laughs> no in between. No in between. Don't be afraid to let your friends know I don't drink no more. That's right. I don't smoke no more. That's right. I don't club no more. Amen. They're not embarrassed from doing it. Yeah. You should not be embarrassed from stop doing it. That's right. Am I right, I said? Amen. Amen. God want a good soldier. Good soldier. So ask yourself, what kind of soldier are you? Are you? That's right. You know, you got men that protect the president. Yeah. I guess they were CIA fellas? Secret, Secret Service. Secret Service. Take a bullet for the president. Yes, they will. If Trump will become president, you got to be nuts to take a bullet for him. <laughs> That's right. In fact, to me, you got to be nuts to take a bullet for any of these political liars. Any of them. Any of them. <laughs> But imagine being scared. Imagine if Jesus walked the streets of New York for real mm. and asked you to walk with him. Mm. And the price for walking with Kim, he tell you, you must be willing to take all forms of abuse right. in my behalf. That's right. Bar none. Bar none. Could you do it? Yeah. Mm. Glory to God. Amen. Think of it. When he was carrying the cross, 
one Simon of Cyrene, Cyrene. came and carried the cross. Carried. That's right. Can you walk the street if possible mm. with Jesus and he give you an ultimatum in order for you to walk with me, man or woman, yeah. you must be willing to take all abuse. All abuse. In order for you to walk just by my side, my Lord. regardless of what it is, could you do it? Could you do it? It certainly would be worth it. Yes. I mean, Jesus, that's the man. That's right. It ain't nobody like him. No, no. It ain't nobody better than him. No, no. That's right. Look past being scared. Yeah. If a bullet hit me, I'm walking with the resurrection. Go ahead. So if I get shot and go down, Gino, come forth. That's right. Here I come on back again. Walking right back again. Hallelujah, hallelujah. This is what God wants out of all of us. That's right. Be willing to walk with him and serve him. And the day will come of a better resurrection. Better resurrection. But to make that resurrection, man, you got a price to pay. Oh, yes. And nobody knows what that price may be. That's right. America, act like it's going towards a dictatorial regime. Yeah. Want to take away your rights of worshiping God? Yeah. Or want to tell you how, how? God should be worshiped? That's right. From a White House point of view. That's right. The scripture tells us they that worship God must worship. Must worship God. In spirit. In spirit. And in truth. If anybody come on the scene and try to get me to worship God another way. Another way. Other than spirit and in truth, I refuse to try to worship that way. That's right. You know. That's Some right. folks say I don't want to be rebellious, but rebellion have its place. Yeah. Stubbornness have its place. Oh yes. If you're trying to get me to go a direction that God wants, I'm gonna rebel. That's right. I'm gonna be stubborn. That's right. And I must be willing to pay that price for my rebellion. Oh yes. Because the price of obedience. Serving God in some places in the world yes. is death. Yes. Are you listening? That's right. America is a wicked country, but you have freedoms here. Oh, yes. I can talk like this here. That's right. In fact, I talk like this everywhere I go. Yeah, that's right. 